Hey there, I'm Jacob Prosnick, and today on Bash UTV, we're going to talk about my approach to matted vegetation. As you can see out here behind me, that we're on a massive, massive grass flat, and I'm just going to try to teach you a couple things that that I do to approach this. You know, this is a tidal uh, river system that I'm that I am on today, and uh, to as far as frog fishing. As far as frog fishing or uh, flipping or, or you know any kind of approach you take to this, I would come out here on high tide. And the reason for that is, as you can see now, all the water has, has dropped off this flat, so it all looks the same, all right? The, the mats and stuff that you wanna find as far as throwing this frog on high tide are gonna be stationary. They're not gonna move, so you'll be able to tell exactly where the mats are so right now we're out here trying to find a needle in a haystack but on high water if i came out here there might be one section of mat that's still out there on that high water and that's where all the fishers are going to live they're not going to move you know just because it's all sucked down and and that that would be the approach that you'd want to take to actually finding it not saying that that's when you got to fish for them but you'll be able to know exactly where those mats are and you know one of the approaches i would take this is a Livingston uh, frog. It's, it's called a Freddie B. It has sound and vibration technology actually in this frog. It's got really, really good hooks. We, we've been working on this frog for a long time and finally, finally got one that I really, really like um, that works really good, you know, in, in summertime conditions because, you know, early spring and stuff, you know, there, there's always big frogs and stuff like that, but that's when frogs have their babies. So that's when a smaller frog comes out that's when you would use something else, you know, but now in this summertime, most of our frogs are a little bit bigger. So this is the one that I'm gonna use the most because it's gonna suppress the most water in those mats. And that's what they're looking for. They can't see this frog or what color it is or whatever. I mean, you can throw a bright pink one, it doesn't matter. It's just the, the fact of how much pressure the frog puts on in those mats as far as, you know, vibration and motion and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, with big, you know, this thing has really great big hooks for, for if you get a great big one in that grass, he's not going to wallow you off. Once again, 65 pound high seas braid. Uh, I throw it on a 7.2 medium heavy quantum rod with a just an 8 to 1 smoke S3 reel. And the reason for that, you know, I'm going to be making really, really, really long casts trying to cover as much water as I can, you know, on these flats and stuff. And, that, and that's, that's what the deal, I mean, it's not like I can tell you to come out here and say, hey, you know, you need to fish those three clumps. You know, this is this is kind of, to me, is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. But when you find that needle, it's unbelievable type of fishing. So stay tuned, We're, I'm gonna uh, get up here in a few minutes and show you just a couple of little techniques that I do to actually retrieve my frog. Uh, I know a lot of people, they like to twitch it really hard. It's Mike Iconelli, this is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. And that's why you want to check out Bass U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV.